buying flowers, treating dinners, and spending time with the person you like are all romantic gestures, but when is it too much? Love bombing, a concerning topic in romantic relationships, involves using manipulative tactics to seek control and dominance over your partner. Psychotherapist Sandra L. Brown explores various patterns of dangerous behavior in romantic relationships, including love bombing. She describes love bombing as a tactic used to manipulate individuals to gain control by creating an intense emotional bond with their partners. Although it may initially seem like deep feelings or intense romance, it's crucial to recognize the signs of love bombing so you don't unintentionally manipulate other people. Here are a few signs to watch for. One, fast move. Do you find yourself moving a relationship too quickly without allowing time for a solid foundation to develop? For instance, do you immediately start discussing long-term plans or making major life decisions together early on? In her book, Anatomy of Love, Anthropologist Dr. Helen Fisher explains that the intensity of early stage relationships is a natural part of the romantic experience. Brain chemistry plays a significant role with neurotransmitters like dopamine and norepinephrine, creating feelings of euphoria and obsessive thinking about the beloved. This intensity can lead to you moving quickly in relationships or making grand gestures to win the other person over through these tactics. It's important to remember that this initial stage marked by idealization and a strong desire for the other person is part of the process of forming strong bonds. While it's essential to be aware of potential manipulation like love bombing, it's also helpful to understand the natural factors that contribute to the intensity of early stage love. Enjoy the journey, but be mindful of your own feelings and their boundaries to ensure a healthy and balanced relationship. Two constantly seeking validation. Do you constantly seek validation from others, showering them with compliments and excessive attention to keep them connected to you? This may lead to signs of love bombing. Your dependence on their validation grows, demanding their constant attention. Your happiness becomes tied to their responses, causing uneasiness when there's a delay. As your infatuation intensifies, so does your desperation for their attention. In their insightful book, Attached, Psychologists Dr. Amir Levine and Rachel Heller explore the impact of adult attachment styles on romantic relationships. They explain that individuals with an anxious attachment style may worry about their partner's love and commitment, leading to a strong desire for validation and reassurance. This need can result in behaviors like constant texting or calling, which might appear manipulative or overly needy. However, it's important to remember that these actions often stem from an underlying fear of abandonment. Understanding and compassion can help both partners navigate these challenges. By learning more about attachment styles and seeking support from secure partners or therapy, those with anxious attachment can work towards healthier relationship dynamics and find the reassurance they need. Three, not okay with boundaries. Do you find yourself neglecting their need for personal space and constantly craving their attention, pushing their comfort zone without giving them time or respecting their individuality? Licensed marriage therapist Darlene Lancer explains in her book that love bombing is a manipulative behavior that can involve disregarding a person's boundaries or needs. It's important to recognize that love bombers might ignore requests for space, push for intimacy too soon, or insist on spending all their time together. These actions often stem from a need for control, power, or validation. Understanding the reasons behind such behavior and the importance of respecting boundaries can help build a healthier and more balanced relationship. Remember, it's vital to be mindful of your partner's needs and to communicate openly to create a strong and supportive connection. Number four, unconsciously smothering them. Are you constantly showering them with extravagant gifts and organizing lavish trips, hoping to keep them by creating a sense of guilt? While it's normal to show affection in relationships, Unconsciously smothering your partner with excessive attention and affection can be a red flag. If your intention is to make them feel overwhelmed and indebted to you, it becomes a manipulative tactic. This behavior may stem from fear of loss or a desire for control, leading to imbalances and erosion of trust. If you can relate to this, it's essential to approach this with empathy and self-reflection. By understanding our underlying motivations and fears, we can work towards creating healthier dynamics Number five, pressuring them into decisions. Imagine you and your partner are discussing whether to take a vacation together. 
Your partner expresses hesitancy due to work and commitments and financial concerns. However, you start pressuring them by saying, come on, don't be so boring. We should just book it now. Figure everything else out later. You're always overthinking things. I thought you cared about us and wanted to have fun together. In this example, you are pressuring your partner by dismissing their concerns and attempting to guilt them into making a quick decision that aligns with your desires. This is a manipulative behavior often associated with love bombing. Pressuring someone to conform to one's desires disregards their autonomy and can undermine trust and mutual respect. If you do this without realizing it, it's crucial for you to recognize and address this harmful behavior to foster healthier relationship dynamics based on open communication, consent, and shared decision-making. Do you see yourself as a love bomber? Can you identify with any of the signs we've discussed? Share your thoughts with us in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like and share it with others who may also find it useful. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you next time.